Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering. Today we are having a look at a uh, Mirror March deck. So uh, I made it this deck, or I had this idea some time. Basically a dragon deck that features Mirror March. So the point is for us to uh, use the Dragon's Horde and Mirror March together. Um, combining that with uh, Lathless as well. To try and get basically loads of dragons out and stacking up our dragon sword so we can just draw infinite cards from it. And also this goes very well with the demanding dragon because when we play it out and we get several copies and it's like, oh yes, I, either you take 15 damage to the face or you sacrifice your creatures. So that's kind of the idea of it. Um, we also have two Sarkons here, not the really good one. This is not really the Sarkon you want for this build, but... Or for this deck, rather. But I think uh, he will do for now. I don't have the other Sarkon, sadly. But let's get to it. Let's play this deck. Now, remember to subscribe, like, and comment what you think about the deck. Because I really like your input on that. And uh, I also hope that uh, you have some ideas, maybe. Um, about what to do to improve the deck and things like this. Plus it's also very fun to just know what you guys play as well. Kind of gimmicky decks compared to the normal meta decks. Let's see. <clears throat> this is not the good start. We only have our kind of high tier kind of creatures. We have the Beast Whisper, which is kind of okay. Um, we have the Sarkhan, so we can cycle cards. Is it worth it, though? We have kind of a good amount of land, and it's like... The problem is, if he's playing an aggro deck, we are basically screwed, but... I mean, I've, I've kept worse hands. Hmm. We're facing come and save me. White. This could be kind of a... Um, probably not aggressive because he hasn't played anything. Maybe he just was just unlucky with the draw. This is actually perfect. He is also some kind of late game kind of rampy deck. So that is actually perfect for us. I think before we play Sarkhan we actually do grow from the ashes. Um, oh no, we played the land where else. We want to kick grow from the ashes if we can. <clears throat> because it is a great... Ooh, crap. It is a great card to be kicked. Let's kick that. Boom. Boom, boom. There we go. We're not playing the Land War Elves because I'm planning on next turn. Depending on what he does, obviously. But I'm planning on either playing Sarkhan or the Beast Whisper. And if we play the Beast Whisper, we really want the Land War Elves to, to draw cards, basically. Plus, we don't need the mana right now. We can actually kick Verix as well. Verix Bladewing would be kind of sick to kick. But I think this is... We want to tap like that. Yay. Thank you. Because then we can play both the land or elves. And draw cards from them. We actually do the incubation thing pretty easily. <clears throat> there we go. That's some uh, good card draw. I think we are kind of in a good position. The Druid of the Horns can become a real big problem if he starts to play Aura cards. Hmm. Well, we got a worth from the from the Beast Whisper, so I think that was okay and anyway. I don't think we block this, it's okay for us to take a little bit of damage. Okay. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can actually do this and kick Barracks. Which would be kinda sick. So we're going to do that. Spit Flame. And then we kick this boy. Boom. <clears throat> hmm. I 
I feel like we're in a very good position right now. Like, I feel quite, quite uh, secure. I think that's okay. Luminous Bonds isn't that bad, especially when we have a Kargam Hillkite coming up. I think we want to do Sarkhan as well, because we want to get him stacking. What no Eve look to the skies? Boom, there we go. One one counter on that. Hell yeah. Uh, and I think we kill this, actually. There we go. And we attack. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of suspected that. No. <laughs> he, uh, he was unlucky. I don't know what his plan was. I'm assuming some sort of elf deck. Um, but he got unlucky. Like, he didn't have anything. Ooh, this is actually kind of cool, I guess. Grim, Grim Captain's Call. Could be a cool idea, actually. Doing some graveyard stuff, maybe some Golgari. With some pirates, dinosaurs, vampires. Yeah, that could work. Another one where... <clears throat> this is like a super in unsafe hand to keep because if we would have one green mana it would have been fine because we could could have played the dragon disciple and the land of war elves but as it is i think we have to mulligan wow it got even worse we don't want another land of war elves no thank you we want one forest one forest is is uh, actually the perfect amount Mm. I could have actually entered that tap, I think. I think this is better than we can uh, Dragon's Horde and Spitfire. Spitflame, if we need to next turn. I think it might actually be. Yeah, it's totally worth using Spitflame. really don't want him to start buffing. Let's just remove that. These guys are super dangerous if they have a lot of enchantment spells. Yep, there we go. Dragon's Horde, so we have five mana now. We need one more. One more land. And we can play Lathlissa. And Mirror March, actually. Hmm. Well, we can kill this. I feel like uh, this is okay. We are definitely killing that. Um... We could shock. Is there a point to shocking though? Yeah, I think it might be good. Try to keep it as clear as possible. I really want the mirror marsh out. That's kind of the fun part of this deck. Like, I would be so happy if I drew one land and a uh, Demanding Dragon right now. That would be like the perfect combo. Oh, fuck me. This is a problem. And I'm not sure how to handle it. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Let's 
have trample? Yeah, of course it fucking does. God damn it. That prodigious growth. Oh my god, that was horrible. Ugh. Let's just go. One more game. We'll see how it goes. I, I feel like this deck is kind of okay. Obviously you can do some optimizing to it. But I feel like it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of an okay deck. Um, the idea kind of works. I guess that's the most important part. We have a Demanding Dragon and Mirror Marsh. So we have the sick combo if we're lucky. I'm assuming he's going to attack with that. Yep. Ventress Impulse. I think we totally want to take this guy. Because with Sarkhan, I think we can... That's four mana. He adds two. We can almost kick kick him with Sarkhan. Ow. Rude. Could deal two damage. I would be able to get out the Demanding Dragon. Plus I have an extra Sarkhan in my hand, so I feel like this is fine. Feel the heat of my flames! I summon you! Boom. Wow. A bold Fucking strike. lightning strike. Dragon does not lose. <sighs> I'm getting so tired of this. God damn it. Come on. Just one more land. He told me I would find you here. Come to me. Does he have any more? I feel like he doesn't have any more, uh... Yeah, he doesn't have any more, uh... So... Or, uh, any more warrior. burn, basically. So we can actually do this now. Might Ooh. demands power! There we go! Demanding dragon! You gonna sack? I knew you would do that. Swap Goblin. He's basically just a pure Goblin deck, I'm assuming. Very much seems so, at least. They are coming! Another Demanding Dragon! Let's go! I think I want to save both of them up. We want to kind of stack up Sarkhan a bit. I think we want to cycle the Mirror March. That's something that we definitely should do. Kind of a dangerous one. I'll show you unhinged. That is actually sick. That is sick AF. 
We'll get Varix out. It's gonna be perfect. Oh. Kicking Varix. Act of treason. God damn it. Yeah, it's worth it. I really want Sarkhan to survive right now. This can enter that. We're going to do this anyway. Oh no, wait, oh, what am I doing? Oh my god, I'm stupid. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Fuck. Can't kick him. God damn it! I'm not thinking. Yeah, we want that back. I don't know what I was thinking there. I was like, oh yes, I have this all planned out my next turn, and then it's just like my brain just. I don't know what it did. Oh, right, he's a governor as well. Five damage. You want to fight? Like, I'm assuming he will go in with his goblins. That's what I would do to kill up Sarkhan. No? Okay. Like, he knows I have Spitfire as well. Spitflame. Whatever floats your goat. That is actually very dangerous. Are you ready? No attacks. Can buff it twice so it would become a 5 5. So it can't kill that Lissa just yet. Or he can, but he'll have to sacrifice goblins to do so. He really wants to keep Sarkhan down. He should have attacked way earlier, actually. Ah. I see. I'm gonna have to cycle. Maybe I shouldn't have... Yeah, I shouldn't have played the land, actually. Lightning strike, that's extremely lucky. Ah, of course. Nickel this is actually kind of a sick card. I have failed you. Ah, crap. God damn it. I should have cycled that first land. That was. Probably what I should have done. Wouldn't have mattered. I still would have pulled the land this turn. But it would have been better. Uh, I could have gotten 
Yeah, I, I actually, that, that would have been sick. I could have gotten... Could I have? Does the Beast Whisperer draw cards on non... Ah, whenever you cast a creature spell. Ah, yeah. So it wouldn't have worked. But I could have gotten quite a bit of Beast Whispers if I was lucky. Um, but yeah, that was my uh, Mirror Marsh Dragon deck. I hope you liked it. I, I feel like it's kind of uh, it's kind of fun, but it's um, the Mirror Marsh is only good with very specific cards in it, like the Demanding Dragon and uh, such. I think I should maybe add more like Enter the Battlefield kind of effects. That would be super cool, actually. Some more Enter the Battlefield effects would uh, would uh, be really cool with that deck. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I have been you, lad. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought of the deck. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.